Folding phones aren't new, but there's not a lot to choose from. It's pretty clear though that this form factor is going to be one of the next big trends. It wasn't too long ago that I said we would be seeing more folding phones on the market, and here we are now with the newest little foldable in town, the P50 Pocket. Launched alongside its brother, the P50 Pro, the P50 Pocket is not just the latest foldable and Huawei's first, it's also set up to be the best, having top tier internals, a great camera system, and so much more. Hey guys, it's Vika, you're with the Modern Creatures, and welcome to another video. Today, it's all about the P50 Pocket, but you guys are in for a treat since we are going to do some mini comparisons of some specs with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 that we have here today. So let's get on with the review. Huawei decides to go fancy with the design of the P50 Pocket and I have to admit this diamond-shaped pattern is very eye-catching and not to mention innovative. The P50 Pocket has what Huawei calls its 3D micro sculpture design which engraves this pattern on ultra-thin glass. What you get is this subtly textured light reflecting back that will most likely prompt people to ask you what phone you have. The white color is clean and pristine but if you want something a little more elevated, you can opt for the premium gold edition designed by widely recognized designer Iris Van Herpen. Adding to its personality is this double ring design that houses the device's cameras similar to the P50 Pro. Now one of the most important things to look out for in a folding device is its hinge. For the P50 Pocket, Huawei employs its multi-dimensional hinge. Built with zirconium-based liquid metal and ultra-high strength steel, the hinge offers the flexibility and durability you need for this kind of folding form factor. Interestingly, it has a water drop shaped cavity that stows part of the screen. If you look closely, you can see the screen slightly lift up as you close the phone. You may be asking, so what? Well, because of that, this phone can completely close. Yes, no gaps here, guys. And check this out. The screen is almost completely creaseless as well, but we'll get to that later on. This was one of the things that bothered me when I reviewed the Galaxy Z Flip 3. The gap was large enough to allow dirt, debris, and other tiny things to enter, a problem that the P50 Pocket doesn't have. The hinge is so smooth that I can easily open and close this phone with just one hand, something I couldn't do with the Z Flip. The P50 Pocket is slightly larger because of the big screen, but makes up for it by being thinner, both folded and unfolded. It's worth mentioning though that it's a bit hard to prop up at an angle, especially out of the box, but it did get easier as I kept using the device. It can also combat light splashes, but you can always put the included case on for added protection. As for buttons and ports, we have the usual volume rocker and side-mounted fingerprint sensor on the right side, while on the left is a dual card tray that can house either two SIM cards or one SIM and one Huawei NM card for storage expansion. I think I've made it clear before and I think I'm making it clear now that I absolutely love this folding form factor and Huawei executes its first rather successful the hinge feels great and all the pain points I had with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 aren't here anymore. For its display, we have two things to discuss, the main screen and the external screen. Let's start with the main screen. What we have here is a 6.9 OLED Full HD Plus display offering a high 120Hz refresh rate. The crease on this folding device, as I mentioned earlier, is almost unnoticeable. Huawei says it's because it's able to distribute strength even when folded to maintain a smoother display. Compare it with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and you'll notice a slight difference on this one. The crease becomes visible though when viewed at an angle, but this is true for both devices. But most importantly, you won't notice it when you're using this phone. I also prefer watching on it because the aspect ratio of this display is much better suited for movies and shows. Colors are nice and vibrant whether you're scrolling through social media, watching Netflix, or just going through your phone. It even has a nano-optical layer to combat reflections so you can see more clearly in different situations. Brightness is a little short when the sun is out, but you'll still be able to make out what's happening on your phone. 
Now let's move on to the external screen. Fold the phone and you're greeted with this 1.04 inch circular touchscreen. Similar to the Galaxy Z Flip 3, you also have widgets here that offer information at a glance. Notifications are here as well and while it can sometimes feel a little bit cramped, I found that sentences were still easy to read and clarity wasn't really an issue. Touch response is excellent. I didn't experience any flaws in navigation at all. You also have a handful of themes to choose from. You can't upload your own photos right now though, but maybe that's something we can look forward to in the future. Like the Galaxy Z Flip 3, you can only go as far as reading your notifications or messages. You'll have to open your phone when you want to reply or take any action. Not a bad feature if you want less screen time on your phone. But as I've expressed before, I love having an external screen as it can give me a quick glance at my notifications and I also love the fact that you can use it as a camera viewfinder. Bottom line, I see no real downsides to this display and what Huawei provided is more than enough. It's not as big as the Z Flip 3, yes, but you can do almost the same things and its performance is at par. At the heart of the P50 Pocket is a Snapdragon 888 processor. The white variant comes with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. The premium gold on the other hand has a generous 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Performance will probably be the last thing on your mind as this phone performs excellently on a day-to-day -day basis. It easily covers all the usual productivity tasks to get you through the workday and will be there for you as well when you just want to relax. Multitasking was also painless and coupled with EMUI 12's useful features, I can easily jump from one task to the next. And it's no secret that we still have no native access to Google Apps but Huawei's App Gallery and Pedal Search are there for your needs. The essentials like Facebook or YouTube are available and you can even get access to Google via the G-Space app. I also really appreciate the security features that we have on this phone. Did you guys know that when this phone is closed, it will disable microphones and cameras so you have control of your privacy. Wrapping things up on the performance section of this review, the P50 Pocket does what a flagship device is meant to do and does it without a hitch. Whether for work or for play, it's smooth, it's powerful, and it's dependable. Now on to my favorite feature of this device, the cameras. On the P50 Pocket, we have a triple camera system headlined by a 40 megapixel true chroma camera. By its side are a 32 megapixel ultra spectrum camera and a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle. Huawei's P series has always been known to showcase imaging technologies and for the P50 Pocket, we have the new ultra spectrum camera. Working together with Huawei XD Optics, we can get brighter, more detailed, and more more color accurate photos every time. The Ultra Spectrum camera is designed to replicate true to life color while the XD Fusion unlocks high dynamic range so you can get the most details possible. It's able to faithfully translate colors and the software also adds slight but favorable enhancements to make captures look sharp and well saturated. When compared to the Galaxy Z Flip 3, we see that Samsung's foldable leans towards cooler tones and tends to automatically enhance photos, especially in sharpness and saturation. You can notice the difference even more when you zoom in. The P50 Pocket's photos retain sharpness with smaller details, while the Z Flip 3 is just a had muddier. The wide-angle lens also provides a good and wide field of view with no visible distortion. The P50 Pocket continues to impress with excellent low-light performance. We do get more obvious enhancements here but I don't mind it at all because the photos look so good and detailed. These were all taken handheld at night and we still get really great looking photos that overtake the Z Flip 3 in terms of quality. For the front shooter, these devices are on even ground with their 10 megapixel selfie cameras. The main difference I see between the two is that again, Samsung's processing is more evident. Selfies from both came out nice and sharp, but zoom in and you'll see more noise on the Z Flip 3. I posted a selfie on social media from both of these phones and asked people which one they like better. The P50 Pocket came out as the winner. But if you aren't happy with the front shooter, this is a foldable phone. Simply close it and use the rear cameras to take higher quality selfies. There's also a new fluorescent filter that can supposedly capture light waves invisible to the naked eye. The results are fun backlight looking photos that can add some spice to your Instagram feed. 
Another fun and useful feature this device offers is a sunscreen detection feature. Accessible through the Mirror app, the cameras will be able to take a scan and show if your face is evenly covered. I know there are a lot of you out there who are probably scratching their heads at the mention of this feature, but I think it'll be useful and I'm sure I'm not the only one. And more importantly, I think Huawei is onto something in terms of beauty software development. Better cameras on a clamshell phone has always been a wish of mine, and the P50 Pocket just granted it. And as a content creator, I'm very happy to have a highly capable set of cameras neatly tucked away inside my pocket. I also did a couple of tests with the phone's Pro Mode and the RAW file format, and so far I've been very satisfied. If you guys want an in-depth camera review like what we did with the Nova 9, let us know in the comments, we just might make it happen. The P50 Pocket has a 4,000 mAh battery on board and can last a full 9 to 5 working day easily, as long as you don't game or use the camera too much. With our usual battery test where we stream a video over Wi-Fi, no audio, and 50% brightness, the P50 Pocket was able to last a little over 7 hours. And as for charging, it supports 40 watt Huawei Supercharge which can top up the phone from zero to full in just an hour. A huge leap from the Z Flip 3's 2 hour charging time if you ask me. As I've said in my previous reviews, I am lazy to charge. That's why I'm really really happy that this phone cannot just last long but charge fast. It doesn't have wireless charging but this is something I would easily sacrifice for faster charging speeds. So we're in that part of the video where we pick out our favorite things about the devices that we're reviewing, something that gives them an edge over their competitors. It's creature feature. And for the Huawei P50 Pocket, it would have to be the integration of a very capable camera system on a tiny folding form factor. I am very happy that Huawei was able to equip a tiny phone like this one with a really great set of cameras. Day or night, wide or close up, the system is versatile and easily satisfies a content creator like myself. Truthfully, there are many, many things to love about the Huawei P50 Pocket. It's almost creaseless screen, no gap hinge, fast refresh rates, camera system, amazing performance, and so much more. Huawei may have taken its time to release its first horizontal folding device, but the company once again proves that its hardware is something worth waiting for. With its innovative engineering and the addition of thoughtful features that consumers today, including myself, are most likely looking for. In the end, it becomes a more complete package over its competitors and offers a flagship clamshell experience we haven't seen yet. And it's definitely something I want in my pocket. If you like it too and want to get one for yourself, links and details are down below. And that's all we have for today's video on the Huawei P50 Pocket with special appearance from the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. Foldables, right? So cool. Anyway, you guys know the drill. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to our channel, visit our website, and our other social media channels for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.